Yo! Video games. Let's do Ebony and the shotgun, man. Yeah, I like Steve. Steve's going crazy. Steven is crazy, goddamn S tier loadout. <laughs> he has no idea how to use, like, oh, fuck it. Ah! Cerberus is pretty great. Acne and Rudra is godlike. Rebellion is godlike. Beowulf is pretty cool. I kind of want to do Beowulf. Beowulf is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna go this is Rebellion and Beowulf, man. I already fucked around with Agni and Rudra. What? I already did Agni and Rudra a little bit. Not yeah, you can. I mean, you can, I, if anything, I would do Agni and Rudra and Beowulf. Yeah? Yeah. Because Agni are the same shit. It's like multi mash, launch up, hit him a bunch, you know, shit like that. Buy some bit stars, man. Various Max, thank you, dude. Oh shit. Oh. Yo, Bo Fox D, thank you very much, man. Oh, is this just a boss fight? I think it's just agony and murder. No, that's not to wait later. Thanks for destroying the luck for me, devil boy! And welcome to hell! Please accept my gift. Don't be humble. Just take it. After all, we're bunnies, aren't we? <laughs> well... Isn't that special? To be honest, I was expecting something a little better than this. Five. So, uh, Switch is, like, R2. R And then he'll up press down uh, R1 to lock on and do different things with it. So you do like back with buttons, forward with buttons, side with buttons, shit like that. Jump with buttons, jump and lock on. Yeah, shotgun him once and then bring him back down. Yeah. You have to hold it down. Right. That's why your hand gets all crinkled up in this yeah. game. That's why it feels like you're you're like solving a Rubik's Cube world record with one with just your right hand. Rubik's. So you can try like back. Like uh, if you do like lock on and then back with uh, Y, you should get something crazy. So of just like auto combo. It has like a stinger, which is forward. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna stream the conference tomorrow. It's switching, like, holding it down, but it's switching targets automatically. Well, if you change the analog stick, I think the analog goes in certain ways. What is the stream for the conference? Maybe around, I think it's 7.30 in the morning tomorrow. You press, somebody's saying you can press, like, hold, press down R3 is how it switches. Okay, this increase your double trigger. Wait, just hit a button. Welcome to hell! These are off. My name. My name. Hold it, hold it!
Yo, Master Ken, thank you, dude. My name is My name is <laughs> okay. Then you press B to do the trick of that thing, which is usually probably a dash on yours. cap on them. Oh, they like sped it up. So, chat room, you're telling me the PC version of Devil May Cry 3 actually isn't that bad? That it's that it's actually pretty good? Yeah, with fixes. Yeah, you gotta like get some basic bitch mods. If anyone has like a, a guide or a YouTube video to uh, let me know what, what I could follow to actually make the PC version of DMC 3... <laughs> Not suck a dick. That'd be great. Because if that could be the optimal version for Devil May Cry 3, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, by itself, it's bad. Yeah, I know, I know. Just Nexus mods? Okay. So I got this good feeling that the new Devil May Cry might oh, be announced no. pretty soon. There was a mod in DMC4 where you can make Dante look like DMC2 Dante. Damn. Really? Does it actually look not trashy? Get Castlevania Lords of Shadow up and running. Trying to download it still. Oh, yeah, you got the. Uh, someone said the stone. The part where the stairs broke down. That part where you, like, you already did this. That room. You can run up the stairs now. But they're like invisible, I think. I don't know. I think you can rebuild them. Yeah, seven minutes away from being done. Yeah, I'll go to that. Uh, oh god, we dropped a whole bunch of frames. Holy shit! Alright, hold on. Oh, shit. 
And that download was seemingly fucking up my connection. I don't know why. So I switched to the other one. Weird. Yeah, we should be fine now. I don't know why, that download from Steam was like jacking everything on our upload as well. Maybe because Steam was capping our download limit. We should be fine right now, chat room, right? Yeah, Lords of Shadow is gonna be like 40 minutes away since I since I switched to the connection we're streaming from. It like maxes the download and uh, it starts downloading at like, you know, 40 megs a second or something like that. But the problem is it fucks the stream How up. How fucking big is the game? Uh, 14 gigs. It's not tiny. It's weird that the download would affect it. I don't know why. What are your chances for Final Fantasy VII Remake tomorrow? Negative, <coughs> negative 50%. <laughs> no way in hell. No more effect. You're not hearing anything about FF7 probably until E3 next year. Kobe Beltwell, thank you, Kobe dude. Kobe Beltwell. Or something down there, I guess. And Frisky Business and Shadow Lancer, thank you, guys. Doing. Green door. I don't think so. Hey, Janito, thanks, man. Kenny's gonna be gone until next weekend. That's when all the Halloween stuff is over. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I think they might be doing more Halloween shit even after Halloween. I think they do it probably like one weekend after. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Where was this? You know what? I'm okay with Bloodborne 2 being not as good as the first Bloodborne as long as they give us like a Bloodborne remastered. Like, give us a give it to the give us the game and somehow like 60 frames per second, actual 1080p and not like 900p. Give us some graphics options. Bloodborne? Yeah, like on a PS4. Well, on their this gonna be their next gen hardware. Oh, it'll be after that. You you don't realize that next E3, there's a good chance you're hearing the announcement for PS5. Ugh. Day old it's pizza very good, for the win. Very good chance. Yeah. Like PS5 might be happening a lot sooner than we all think. Like within the next year, is not when it's gonna come out. It's when it's going to be revealed. You know, daily pizza is the only food I'm actually not afraid to have sit out and then eat the next day. I don't know about that, it's milk. Well, it's salt and corn as well. Well, yeah. Shit. Preservatives. Shit. I don't eat that much cheese anyway. I always take the cheese off. This is the part that breaks DMC3 for me, all the excessive backtracking and nothing else to fight. That's the, the the game design of this game, yes, that is the worst part. Uh, it's frustrating as fuck. Doesn't part 4 do that too? Oh yeah, that's why 4 is, 4 is a... 4 yeah. has problems. Devil May Cry 4 has a problem. <laughs> like it has problems. DMC4 is like one of the greatest combat engines in video game history, but the game around it kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. 
He has five too soon? Damn right. I didn't see where the fucking thing is that moved the, the wall. I was supposed to go. Ask chat. Yeah, chat. Yell at him now. Yeah. Did not see. You guys are those guys that don't ask for directions. As long as you as long as you ask the chat, the chat just doesn't tell you. That's good, that's fine. Why do you think PS5 will be released really next year? Because PS4 has been out for almost five years now. Urbex, I'm not the one playing. Yo, Arkstar Ennis, thank you, dude. And Sony has said they're not doing any more console upgrades. They're not doing any more PS4 Pro Pros. No, no, like, yeah, double pro. They pretty much said, like, we're not, we're not gonna be doing that. Well, is it, like, a PlayStation Mini technically a downgrade? Because they usually, like, take away stuff when you do the Mini Station Mini. They did for PS3, yeah. Universal yeah, yeah. Threat and MFNT Wisted Streaming. Thank you, dude. Yo. My face not... No, but when it comes to like the mini versions of consoles, um, they, it's usually a downgrade. They just want to make it more affordable for people, and make it you know more less bulky. PS One did it, PS Two did it, PS Three did it. There wasn't any downgrade on PS One though, because there's nothing to downgrade. What it was PS, but the actual PS One, that tiny little version, yeah, of the yeah, it was way one. better. Yeah, it was. It was actually a way better piece of hardware. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because you have to like put it on its side and shit to get it to read games. Yeah, upside down. Kind of the same with PS Two. They took away the iLink, Link, but like, yeah, one one game used the iLink, Link, so it doesn't really matter. The uh... The fuck I'm saying? Okay. All I'm saying is that PS5 is going to be a lot sooner than you might think. Like, we're, we're nearing the end of the console generation. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers are used to it because you got into gaming around the Xbox 360 and PS3 era, and that shit lasted 10 years! Got him! So, that's not normal. What I'm saying, Techdo, is that when they make smaller versions of actual consoles, it's usually a downgrade of the actual console. Uh -huh. They take away stuff. Well, the, that was true on, yeah, PS3, but... Right. Was, that really, was that really true on PS3, though? Well, they constantly took away shit. Like, my fucking yeah. fat PS3 well, yeah. has, like, four USBs on it. That's and, true. and a bunch of me different types of memory sticks. But your yeah. fat PS3 was the optimal version. There, yeah. were two, there was a cheap version, so then just, and then there then was a better version. they kept away, and they kept taking away. Yeah, they kept PS3 is the only console that's ever been true for, though. Like, yeah. every, other, every other console that's ever existed, when a new version comes out... It has better heating and cooling. Yeah. It has a faster processor, a little bit. Like, Xbox yeah. One S is way better than the original Xbox. Although, there's weird things like with the uh, old fatty Xbox, where uh, different oh, man, thank the you, system dude. use different manufacturers' pieces. So, Panzer Dragon does not actually play on certain Xboxes. Really? Yep. Wow. Like, original Xboxes. Yes. I never knew that. Like, if you get a later, oh, well, thanks, a man. later model original Xbox, will not play uh, Panzer Dragoon. <laughs> my, 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 my fat PS3 is loud as fuck. Yeah, they tend to do that. Yeah, PS3s are loud. Yeah, they tend to do that. Trust me on that. They're loud. It's actually kind of scary because you don't know when it's gonna break down when it starts getting that loud. It's just gonna like shut down at any point in time. It's actually kind of scary. Uh, the, but it makes up for the fact that if you have an original fat PS3 with proper backwards compatibility. It is the greatest system on the planet, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. It plays yeah. PlayStation 2 games natively. It yeah. plays PS1 games natively. Backwards compatibly. As well as downloadable PS3 games and every PS3 game. It is the biggest library of games I ever. Totally yeah, agree. Fat, but that's a very limited run of the PlayStation 3. It was only the launch 60 gig, 60 gig units. Yeah, Everything else beyond that, you don't get that shit. Yeah, yeah. you'd have to actually like have to they all. You have to pay extra. And you yeah. have to buy the games individually. Yeah, yeah. If you're a launch model PS3, you can play all the PS2. The problem is, guess what? The disk drive wasn't that great. Yeah, and, it's a piece of shit. And it would crap out on you um, faster than the system would crap out on you. So I was looking into this. There's a big, there's a big market for jailbroken PS3s. You know why? Fucking Grand Theft Auto. People to go online with Grand Theft Auto 5 with your PS3 and hack the fuck out of the game and shit and run in there with cheats. 
Well, I would see a ton of people going in there and um, using invincibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's exactly button. where it comes from. Yeah. I was like, man, I just want to get a PS3 that'll play everything, you know? Yeah. I want to see if I can get something that'll play, like, like backups, to play this, to play that, to, do, to yeah. do, make this PS3 the most godlike PS3 ever. And I looked it up, and they're horrifically expensive. Of course. I'm like, why are they so expensive? This is so goddamn rare. And then I looked into it, it's because of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, really? It's because of GTA 5 and people running online with hacks and shit. Oh. So, that, that, to get that to happen, because so many fucking people play GTA, GTA 5, 5. Yeah, yeah. And still, too, to this day... Because it keeps getting upgraded. The jailbroken PS3s are really fucking, like, really sought after. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I was like, God, I just wanted to play games, not Grand Theft Auto. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, how much, Splatter Addict, thank you, man. How much is ridiculously uh, expensive? 500 bucks plus. For PS3? For a PS3. A jailbroken one. Ugh. Yeah. Google that right now. What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm interested in a PS3 that's fully backwards compatible and can actually play backups because I have a lot of PS1 games that I don't want to open. Yeah. And I have PS2 games I don't want to touch because I actually collect that shit. So if I want to make a backup of it and just stick it in and play it, I want the ability to do that on an old ass PS3. I mean, so I don't know if that exists, but I, I kind of want it if it does. I kind of, I kind of feel like it sucks that like almost uh, you know, oh, every so so many years, like all of us console gamers have to constantly buy a new system. You know, what I and mean? I rebuy games. Yeah, yeah. buy a new system, rebuy and games. And it's funny because um, I, I, the, you know, somebody in the chat was like, oh yeah, well PC, you don't have to do that. But yeah, guess you, what? You have to upgrade. Your you PC have to also. upgrade your PC. Yeah, uh, I think like Naughty Drew was saying that. It's like yeah, and every not all games come out for PC, so yeah. Where do I take the Soul of Steel, guys? You you have to upgrade every so often. So buy a 3.5. Uh, oh, 3 .5 the firmware is also a very yeah. The firmware is a, a major thing about it as well. Uh, let me see. I hate it, Splatter Addict. I hate it. Why? If you on PS4's bullshit inability to run PSN games from the PS3, yeah, but it can't run it itself. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't understand it. Well, I mean, I have a PS2 that already does that Mega Micah. We do. And it's, it's a very simple mod because it's just a memory card mod. We, we've, actually, we've actually done that. I just want it all to run on, like, PS3 because PS3 is easy. I've already soft modded a PS2. Don't worry. It has to be the fat one, Max, or no? Yeah, it's got to be the P uh, PS3 60 gig. 60 gig. If you yeah. type in PS3 60 gig jailbreak, you'll start seeing the prices. Uh, I'm doing shit. the firmware because the firmware is very important. Uh, 3.55 like Yeah, even if you have the fat one and yeah. you upgrade the firmware, it won't still play your old games. Oh, so. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> I brought you back down. I didn't want to do that. Whoa, Why aren't Sony learning from Microsoft once? Because Sony is winning and they don't need to make you happy. Ah! That's what's going on right now. <laughs> That's like... why we're not getting games that are cross-compatible, because Sony's being a fucking piece of shit. They're lucky they got the best games, but fuck, man, I am I am not happy with Sony right now. Like, and even Microsoft and Nintendo have talked to Sony on multiple occasions about, hey, how about we make our games just work online with all the consoles? Because it's totally possible. Yeah. It's not a problem. Yeah. And even recently, when Phil Spencer came back and was like, it's not happening. Like, Sony is just not. They're just not. So... You don't you don't have crossplay on your console to PC to other console games because Sony's being a dickhead. Sorry, chat. They're like fuck. And you know why? It's because Sony's winning and they don't need to make you happy. That's the shitty part. Winning. And you know what? That's good business. But I didn't say business needs to make you happy. Yeah, that's all. Wow. This is stone that you have that keeps yeah. it there. You know what and I mean? that's the truth. Microsoft probably would have done the same thing if they were winning. Maybe. Absolutely. They they definitely went into the Xbox One era a bunch of pieces of shit. Yeah. You gotta buy the Kinect. You yeah. gotta download games from us. You can share them. Not really. You wanna know why? Because they were winning with the 360. Well, they that's were exactly winning. what I mean. That's yeah. They were winning before. They were so winning. Microsoft has a history of doing the same shit. All I'm saying is that it doesn't mean we don't get to call them out on being total assholes. And that and the, that thing is with an Xbox One, it was like, damn, that's fast. With with an Xbox One X, is like, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, an original Xbox One, you're like, I'm just not gonna buy that shit. Fuck it, I'm just not gonna buy it. Like, and that's what a lot of people did. And some people that wanted KI. Hey, Lucas, thank you, dude. 
But okay. with with Sony acting the way they are right now, like we have a chance to change something about the industry, which actually fucking sucks. Yeah. The fact that games should work with each other online and completely can, and it's just an option to be enabled. But Sony won't allow it. And that would actually make yeah, fighting. It is, it is a huge thing that would be better for fighting games. Yeah. Huge, huge, way better for smaller community games. But Sony just won't allow it. And that's the part that really sucks, is that this would actually be better for the industry. Once like, for every, for communities, for everybody. Once again, when it, when it comes to their mindset, they're like, we don't want to play games with our competition. That's literally, that's like, we literally don't want to share. Their mindset, yeah. yeah, their mindset is just like, no, it, if they want to play this game, and all they honestly, have to buy our Nintendo system. is the one that's technically winning right now, or is winning the month. I was sales. just about to say that. They're winning. During the time of, like, you know, SNES versus Sega and stuff like that, wasn't Nintendo winning? Not till Donkey Kong Country. Yeah, not Sega was winning for a lot of that era. Really? Yeah. Sega Genesis era was Sega was very popular. Hmm. It was all marketing. As far as sales though, I yes. think it's not till Donkey Kong Country. But then and then at the end, yeah, near the middle of SNES, that's when some of the games came out and started blowing blowing ass, yeah. man. Like Donkey Kong blew people's minds. Yeah. So it, during that era when either uh, Sony or Sega were winning, did they? Do you guys see any? Uh, are you guys remember them doing anything shady like this shit? You well, know, this like is. I mean, this is, seems to be like a trend where if you're winning, you just fuck everybody over. This is different cool. because back in the day, games not not a ton of games came out on everything. Like there was a few games that actually came out on everything. Most most consoles like SNES and yeah. Genesis had exclusives. Yeah, yeah. Like we get this version of Street Fighter Two. Genesis doesn't. Yeah. It's like Genesis, we get this version of this. Nintendo doesn't. Yeah, now is the era of everything. Comes around. Everything comes out for everything. Yeah, everything comes out for the most part. Because it's not about the companies now making their own games. They just hire. But now it's like it's not about third party exclusivity. It's about like first party exclusivity. Yeah, yeah. What do you, what do you got like? Sony. Because that's what sells the consoles really. Yep. It's like, hey, what do you got that's exclusive? How long are you two gonna keep carrying? You know, I'm looking at this shit right now. I'm so afraid of anything refurbished. I don't want it. I don't want anything refurbished. You know what I mean? But that's refurbished. All it is. It's it's over ten years old. <laughs> it's eleven year old hardware. I'm always. I'm just afraid of that shit and pre owned. Oh. It just makes me sick to my stomach. This is a fun fight. Yeah, it's a fucking This fight. is Ornstein and Smoke before Ornstein and Smoke. I had to, like, fight some centipede-ass monster and shoot shit. Simmons gets a cool fight. Yeah, he gets a cool fucking fight. Bullshit. Uh-oh. Yo, the alcoholic! Thank you, dude. Hey-oh! I don't know. I think I think the one thing that really bugs me personally as like a guy that likes fighting games is that all fighting games are niche communities except for NetherRealm games. All of them are small, with like a few hundred people that are playing at any given time, depending on any given game, if not less. So limiting that by like four different systems potentially is really shitty. Like having them just play with each other would make so much more sense. And it's completely possible. It's not like an infrastructure thing where you gotta do this and that. No, it's yeah. just... It's not a problem. Uh, L2. Or L1. L1. Your attack. That will trigger you to lighten up. Yeah, the only... The only game that has truly been cross-play compatible, and it's it's, a, it's the reason you know it's possible, Final Fantasy XI, you could play with people on PC, you could play with people on Xbox 360, and you could play with people on PS2. Yeah. And, and no technically, problem. no, you couldn't play on PS3. So PS2 to 360 to PC was possible over like a decade ago. And Sony had no problem with it. Sony had no problem then. They're just fine. So chat, how many games do you know have all three crossplay? It can't I just think, be fine. Uh, it just can't be fine. What does um what what has crossplay between everything? Rocket League. Yeah, Rocket what, League. What is okay. what is Rocket League actually crossplay playable with chat room? Isn't Rocket League Switch is Switch, PC, Switch? Really? Xbox. Yes, Rocket League is Switch, PC, Xbox. Uh, Xbox One. One. Yeah, Xbox One. But not PS4. Because Sony's a shithead. Paragon. I don't think I... Yeah, DC Universe was kind of like that, too. Fortnite. 
So yeah, it's pretty much the games that are the games that are like crossplay are just everything but PS4, right? Yeah. Yeah, FF14. Well, being PS4 to PC isn't exact. It is a form of crossplay, but it's not all crossplay. It's like one part. Yeah, we're talking about the, the, the three. We're talking about like the competitor. Yeah, the three. PC main. isn't a competitor too. Yeah. It's not a console competitor. Yeah, the three majors are Nintendo, Sony, and and, and Microsoft. Yeah, Those yeah are the a, ones. A, a console game being crossplay with PC isn't like anything crazy. That's been happening for a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fortnite. Fortnite's a big one. Yeah, Fortnite, uh, Fortnite, Fortnite yeah, when Fortnite. it launched, PS PS4 players were playing with PC people that were also playing with Xbox people on the day it launched, and they're like, "What the fuck is going on? Does anyone know this is supposed to be this way?" Oh, it was a bug. And then and then an hour later, it was turned off. It yeah. was an hour. And it, with, it lasted like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. What the For, fuck? Fortnite players were playing with Xbox, with PlayStation 4, and PC users. You know what that is? That is a literal call. From Sony execs calling fucking the, the developers like yeah don't don't do that exactly like what kind of shit is that is it actually possible sucks. they're just literally calling them like yeah you, you know <laughs> ah, what the fuck is that shit that is some <laughs> it turned off that is some serious douchebaggery coming from Sony at that it, point. It, it, and the, the, it has the to reason, be. The reason it it butt hurts me a lot. Why I I usually don't get mad at companies unless they're Capcom because I love Capcom. <laughs> um, the reason it butt hurts me so much is because it's it's the thing that will actually make the industry better. It'll actually increase the health of communities. Yeah. It's, the, it's so much better for the players. It is it is a thing that everyone that plays that game is like, of course I want that. Of course I want more bottom line is that it's Sony Dark Link, thank you, dude. The way you guys broke it down to where it's actually better for Sony, but they Sony believes it's just not better for them. Well, you guys actually said it's not better for it's actually better for of course, Sony. Of course it's of course it's not better for Sony. Because they're a business. It's just better for everybody else. So because they're a business and they're not in the business of making you happy, they're in the business of getting your money, they're not going to do it. I remember you guys saying that um, it wouldn't matter because more people would end up buying the games for that console anyway. Exactly. So it would be better for the company. Okay. Well, and that's the thing. It'll, people are just going to buy it. What is it? Sony's, Sony's focused on the fact that people are going to buy the version they want to play with their friends and you, all your friends are on all PlayStation. The customers, yeah, all your friends are on this console, so... But that doesn't fucking matter because your friends are going to buy it regardless. Like, they're yeah. just hoping that you, you, you have no friends on Xbox, so you're gonna have to buy a PlayStation. You have friends on Xbox? Well, those are plebes, and they can't be your friends anymore. That's really what Sony's saying. Oh, really? You can still do that in Fortnite? You have to have a PS4 player in your party, and then join an Xbox player's party? When on PC? No. Weird. What? Talking. Weird. So the, the, the PC player is the host. Then that would be makes sense, right? And uh, then everybody just jumps in the same lobby. Yes, I don't know. As the PC player, it's bizarre. It's fucked me. We still got 14 minutes on Castlevania. So. That's weird.